What town are we in? The name is Los Amates. Los Amates. Yes. Where are we at today? Rancho Grande is the name of this. Rancho Los Grande. Grande. You have a few hours in Guatemala <laughs> and you speak Spanish now. Tell us what we're eating today. Normally, when we are visiting places like this, they provide us one little soup. Every day is changing. In this case is beef soup. When they are making soup from our cows, they are taking more bones from the spine or legs. Sometimes you can see yeah, some like to cartilago. What's the uh, vegetables in here? In Mexico, it's famous and they call chayote. In Guatemala, we call whisky. Consistent is like a potato. Sometimes they add yuca. With that soup, it's very good. The green one's almost a little bit like a potato. It's definitely got a different it's texture. Different texture and different flavor. But it's, it's consistent is similar. In between a potato and some celery. The yuca has got a little bit of a different texture to it. When you bite into it, it almost sticks to your teeth a little bit. Uh, instead of breaking like apart like a yeah, fibers, like, like, almost yeah. like a fruit. Yeah, almost like a fruit, but it's almost thick. Like a nectarine or actually the yuca is a root. It's interesting because the vegetable is coming from Highland. Here, for example, they produce only yuca and it's it and cows. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat mine. <laughs> Is that okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be real honest with you. I'm an American on this one. <laughs> this is like pure grizzle. <laughs> did you put some lime in it? I just did. Oh. It changes the flavor of it. It's really good. Mm. In this area, you will see more right. chicken soup and beef. Okay. Because in this area is more popular uh, chicken. Chicken okay. soup. Another one is ceviche. Mushroom cocktail? Mm -hmm. With lemon juice, tomato. Oh, ceviche! Pizza. With lemons on it, and yeah. it, it's like raw fish. Yes. Usually. Or I don't fish, know why. Or crabs, or I, I know squid. exactly what it is, I just couldn't picture it. Actually, and here, yeah, we are making ceviches with a, a, a bull's testicles. Bull's, bull's testicles? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we call criadillas. Here, let's look at what you want to get, Wayne. Maybe we can share something. I say just they get a little have, bit of everything in this. They have many choices here. What would you recommend? In this area, for example, palm cheese, avocado, for example, they could be, we call uh, guacamole. We call guacamole. Yes, I have, love that. Uh, this avocado with uh, uh, onion pieces. Yes. Sometimes they add a lemon, lemon juice. Love it. Yeah, and yes. salt. Okay. Sometimes they add a little bit of coriander leaves. Okay. Is this a green cherry? Yes. What are you guys actually drinking here? Is this an alcoholic drink? Is that just a little bit of lime in it? I don't think I've ever seen green cherries before. No, I think it's, it's uh, with some dye. Wow, that is so good. Yeah, very refreshing. Ooh, brain freeze. I like to drink, 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 and then the, ah! Oh. Your brain is fuzzy. Yes! Oh. So tell us what we have here. This one is no from Guatemala. We can use that word, syncretismo. Syncretismo is a local thing with another ad for foreigners. In this case, for example, the cows know it's from Guatemala. This one is real Mayas because avocado is from Guatemala, from Mayas, the corn is from Mayas. Okay. The cheese, no. Yes, but on here, yeah, we are using syncretism, union two different cultures, right. Mayan and European. European is for the cheese. These are thick compared to like most corn. chips. Yeah, they're different. Yeah, only the style oh. to prepare the corn is different. Like to pico de gallo, for example, is not from Guatemala. This one is coming from Peru okay. because they invented the ceviche, the chicken. Is everywhere. Everybody yeah. has it's chicken. Everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Yes. But on here is mostly Mayan is primitive product. Yes. But at this one is sanguine because the cold noise from here. No, okay. and here is only squash, tomato, avocado, chili pepper, and black pepper also. Yes, it's from mine. In <clears throat> corn, for example, you can have a choice to make corn tortillas, and they are using hands. 
but the process to right. grind the, the corn, yeah, they use it to store. Right. But now they have electric yes. machines. Another form, they are making tamales, corn based, it's like a paste, and they're using banana leaves. Yeah? And they put a little paste on it, and after they cover, and with the paper, because they cover one big ball, and by, it by steams fire, it. Exactly. Yes. Okay. With that steam, it's in boiling inside and oh. is cooking the tamales and yeah, now they have a different style to make tamales i want to try this oh so this is different may i, I was, take a piece of chicken sure. oh i was expecting you. the uh the thank fondue you. to be more of a oh. thinner it's yeah, more yeah, thick and full of cheese if you want to try to eat uh, black beans go ahead you can do it huh? and you can make like two taquitos yes mm. perfect for example, I will take a little bit. If you want, you take can take that. like this wine. Yes, like to taquitos. You can add something in and you can start to eat. Oh, that's ham. Yeah, it's ham. It's ham inside the cheese fondue. But look at the cheese. It's like, it's, I know you're probably not going to like it because it's stringy. Mm -hmm. Yep. But you got to try a bite. <laughs> I don't know. One bite. Look at this. Mm -hmm. No. That's cheese. I, in America, you don't get cheese like this. Okay. Good? Yeah, that's not that's not so bad. I like cold cheeses more than stringy. Mm. I love cheese. This one we call pico de gallo. It's the base for make uh, ceviche. Do you want to try? Go ahead. This pico de gallo goes on chips. Yes, it's a good idea. That is tasty. That is good. Just a quick update. For lunch, for three people, we had soup. I had some fondue. April had some guacamole. Yeah, nachos and guacamole. Selvine had a chicken plate dinner. Came out to 170 casales. Did I say that right? Yes, you're right. Which is $25.25 US. Just to give you an idea. Oh, I forgot about the cerveza and the uh, or the the, the, the fry, yeah, the frozen limonades. Heck, those those in the U.S. would have been ten dollars a piece. <laughs>